Let me bring Julius in. Do you agree with Solomon? Completely. I, I agree with him completely on, on the, all the issues he has raised. More fundamentally because Galamse wouldn't be going on in Ghana unless the presidency endorses it. And I am putting it on record. And as Professor Prim from Boateng's report has confirmed, mm. that the Galamse menace in Ghana today is spearheaded by President Kufuado himself, Vice President Alaji Mahmoud. He Dr. didn't say Bamiya. the president himself. I he mean, said if, that he said that the Galamse that was going on the in the president's own Chebi residence. For Professor Frimpong Boateng said that, mm. yes, that he was going on at his own residence. I did not appoint Professor Frimpong Boateng. It was Nanado who appointed him. Professor Frimpong Boateng was a minister of state. His statements are official executive documents. And so I am not the one going to impugn it. So the president is at the head of Galamse. And all we have seen so far in this country is that any report on Galamse that does not glorify the president's appointees, he does not accept. We saw in the case of Akunta Mining, which has been fingered by every credible report. The fourth estate has fingered Akunta Mining. Uh, what do you call it? Professor Frimpon Boatin has fingered Akunta Mining. Several of the president's appointees involved in Galamse. The president does not accept any such reports. Unless the report was to glorify his appointees, he does not accept. Indeed, before investigations were con commenced into Akunta Mining, the president was on a public platform, told all of us that as far as he knows, Akunta Mining is not involved in any such thing. Mm. So how do you tell me that the presidency is not spearheading Galamse? They are spearheading Galamse. Galamse is happening because Dr. Ba Baomia, President Kufuado, and all their appointees are in on it. If that does not serve you enough, listen to this. The president of the Republic of Ghana, his character and nature, as per this constitution, is such that nothing can happen in this country if the president does not want it to happen. The president of Ghana is the head of state, commander-in-chief of the Ghana Armed Forces. At his disposal, he has naval forces, he has the military, he has the police services, he has all the investigative apparatus at his disposal. The president has regional security coordinating councils, district level, he appoints the municipal chief executives, and all those security apparatus report to the presidency. How do you tell me that Galamse can go on in the country if the president does not endorse it. So the president of the republic endorses Galamse. But and to that be is why fair, there was Operation Vanguard where the military, in collaboration with the police, <coughs> went be, be, out be, there. Be, Bella. There was Operation Halt 1, 2, and 3. Mm, and in, 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 in Operation all in, that. In Operation Halt and all of that, and uh, Galam Stop and whatever you call all of them. Do you remember Charles Bissu? Mm. Charles Bissu was caught pants down on video, not even pictures, video, leading people to Galamse site, taking bribe with two hands, two hands to lead people to go and do Galamse. What has happened to Charles Bissu? As we speak today, Charles Bissu is one of the parliamentary candidates for the New Patriotic Party. That is what the MPP government does. They reward thievery. They reward corruption. They reward destruction of our environment with portfolios. That's what they do. And so if you tell me that they did these operations and it means that they were fighting Galamse, what I think they just wasted the resources of the people of the Republic of Ghana. Indeed, the video evidence that we saw from Anasis Exposés shows us that some of the people who were in these forces were the ones leading the people to Galamse sites. Erasmus Asaridonko, his investigation, the video evidence showed us that some of the people in this task force were providing security for the Galamseers. And there's one thing the people of Ghana mistake. They feel that license automatically means that the people are not doing Galamse. That is not the case. When you read our environmental laws, when you read our mining laws, there's one thing that is clearly apparent. One, environmental impact assessment is at the core of licensing of people mm. to do, go and do Galamse. The EPA's own internal memos, there were people within the EPA who were complaining that the rates at which they were giving licenses to people to, in, uh, to go into forest reserves cannot be realistic, which means that because of political influence, because of the presidency endorsing Galamsey, people are compelled to give licenses to people without a proper environmental impact assessment. And when that happens, mining of that nature is also illegal because it does not go through the appropriate processes that have been laid down by law. That is why you would see that since 1996, how many licenses were issued to people to mine in this country? About 57 or so. TV3, you reported on it yourself. Under President Kufuado, 1,500 plus was given to people. How is it realistic that you have done environmental impact assessment mm. on 1,500 different mining applications and actually came to a conclusion that these people can actually do safe mining before you issue the licenses to them? So the licensing itself does not even guarantee that the people are doing uh, uh, what you call illegal mining. Beyond that, when there is evidence that people that you have given licenses to traverse the bounds of those licenses and go and mine in areas that you have not licensed for them, what are the consequences? We don't see anything happen to those people in this country. So you can't tell me that the presidency is not in involved in Galamsey. More so, when you read the report on the people who got the license, all of them are either appointees of the government, district chief executives, or executives of the MPP. How did it, did it happen in this country that the only people with expertise in mining are MPP people? 
the president daughter's companies and all of that. How did they, they are not the only ones. The but, same Fripon oh. Boateng report that you refer to, mm -hmm. it says that there are more NDC people who are also involved in and, 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 and up to now, I am unable to see any names. The, MP, NDC, uh, the MPP names were clearly mentioned. But, but he still which, made that statement. But he, so he's unable to it, provide we cannot choose. We cannot choose to I am, accept I am, I am not the choosing, other aspects of it not, and not I accept I am, I am not the part choosing, where he says I am, I am not choosing NDC people were involved. When Professor Frimpong Boatin said the presidency was involved, he landed names. Those people went after persecuting him because he mentioned their names. Where are the NDC people he's talking about? In any case, even if we are to grant without accepting that MPP people were involved, my premise was clear and loud that nothing can happen in this country if the president of the Republic of Ghana does not permit it. If mm. there are MPP people, NDC people involved in Galamse, it doesn't matter. You are the president of the Republic. You have the state apparatus. You have the prosecutorial machinery. Why are you not prosecuting them? The attorney general has time to dedicate a principal state attorney to prosecute young guys mm. who go out, you know, protesting against these illegal mining activities in the country, but does not have time to go after the so-called NDC uh, kingpins who are involved in Galamse. Let me tell you, Galamse is also going on in Ghana because the president of this country, the government of the New Patriotic Party, mm. have drowned this country to the extent that even the people that they catch, you remember the case of Aisha Huan, because this president has destroyed this country and has been going all over the world begging everybody, the Chinese, the Germans, everybody, begging everybody, everywhere our president goes, he's with the, the begging bowl. He is unable to even prosecute foreigners and make them face the consequences of destroying our country. Aisha Huang was left to leave this country without any punishment or consequences whatsoever. If Aisha Huang can leave this country, why is it that young people who are demonstrating against these things are in jail? So that is the kind of government we have today. So for me, I support organized labor fully on the strike they have decided to embark on. They should go on the 10th and protest against what is going on by laying down their tools. But why shouldn't they have gone now? Why wait till the 10th? Which is what every Ghanaian is asking at this point. Well, I don't know what considerations they have made, So for you, but, is it a concern but, that... Yeah, it's you concerning know, that they've not acted immediately. Mm -hmm. Very concerning that they've not acted immediately. But one thing is important. More often than not, when people are causing distraction, it is important to keep lending them a rope. If, if, if they fail to actually, I mean, go back on the wrong things they are doing, you give them the rope to hang themselves. Okay. And so the MPP government is hanging themselves by the things they are doing. And for me, there's one important point. Solomon made it and I'll emphasize it. End on that. There me. is no solution to the menace we are facing other than voting out the new patriotic party government. If you have a presidency whose members of parliament, who are health experts, the now vice presidential candidate of the new patriotic party, as for his impunity, mm. his disregard for the people of Ghana, it's just tremendous. You remember this same Rani mate of Baumia? Tell the people of Keta that if they should be budgeted for, he would lead protest against them. You remember this same vice president of Baumia, Napo? Tell the people of Ghana that if he gets the chance again, mm. he's going to take scholarships that are meant for poor and needy people. He said that. Then you remember this same Napo telling people that when he becomes the vice president of Ghana, they are going to give the excavators back to the people to go and do the illegal mining. All you right. remember these people. Then you remember now a member of parliament of the new patriotic party Telling people that they are not going to stop Galamse because if they stop Galamse, it will favor MPP. So there is only one choice for the people of Ghana to make. When you go out on December 7 to protect our environment, to kick this thieving government out of our sight, you must vote against the new patriotic party. All right. Elect President John Dramani Mahama and let's save our country. When he was president, the rivers were clean. There is evidence, TV3, you yourself, you have that drone shots of our river bodies. Okay. They were crystal blue. Under President Kufuado, they are like Milo. Right. We must end it on you December 7th.